The men's soccer team advances to host the A-Sun Championships with a win over Lipscomb. We've got all that and more on this week's edition of Monday Minutes on Osprey Sports Network. Hey Ospreys, I'm Elizabeth Norton. And I'm Katherine Marsh. It was a big weekend for the men's soccer team who hosted Lipscomb in the Atlantic Sun semifinals on Saturday night at Hodges Stadium. The Ospreys won 2-1 on a golden goal by Helga Peachman in the 108th minute of double overtime. They advanced to their third straight A-Sun title game, hosting USC Upstate next Saturday night at 7 p.m. We chatted with Coach Derek Marinato's Peachman and Alex Morale following the match. I mean, uh, I thought I give it to credit to Lipscomb. They came out and battled us early. I thought we were on our heels the first 15, 20 minutes and obviously got the goal. Uh, and then I thought we settled down and the subs came in and changed the game. And, uh, and you know, I'm pleased for the work of the guys because, you know, I thought when we moved Alex up top, we were able to, able to get him on the ball a little bit more. And the, the subs up top kind of changed the game a little bit. Milan and Alex settled the game. He had a great individual effort on the goal. So you go in at half, 1-1. One, one, and uh, second half turned into a little bit of a battle. I thought we missed some chances. I thought we should have put away some chances um, and then, you know, getting the red card to go to go up a man and then to go even strength. It was just it was a battle. Credit to Lipscomb, man. It was a, it was it came down to, a you know, one chance. really. No, I mean, I, I think that, first of all, Sprague, credit to Sprague, he drew the PK. Yeah. So Sprague cut two guys in the box and the guy fouled him. And, you know, credit to Sprague for drawing the PK. And then Helga's our guy on PKs. Uh, he went where he normally goes and the keeper. I guess knew and, and seen some on film and he saved it and the good thing is he's, he followed his own rebound and headed it home. So the keeper left it right in front and then he headed it in so credit to him for finishing the job. I mean I think we look at what we did I, I think we need to possess the ball obviously and uh, they didn't have a lot of the ball and they tried to counter and uh, they were still he was very dangerous uh, going forward and at the end of the day I think if we control the ball and we take our chances and we show tonight if we take our chances uh, then, then you're not going to be in a tight game so at the end of the day I think uh, Next week, we got to figure out where we're at and, and work on uh, making sure that we play our game. I mean, it's what we've been wanting, what we've been waiting for this whole time. We're ready for it. I mean, 100%, everyone on the team is, is bought in. I mean, you can see it, atmosphere all day at practice, at the game today, uh, everything. So that's what we're ready for. We're going to be here to host the championship. To be honest, we, we didn't know we were going to prepare for UC Upstate uh, after, after this game, even if we won, because we thought FGCU was going to win for sure. But... Uh, the nice thing for us is since UC Upstate is lower seeded than us, we get to host the, the final here, which is Big huge job. for us. We had a lot of fans out tonight, and I think we'll get even more next Saturday. And We're going to prepare the same way we've prepared for all of our games, and I think we're the better team, and hopefully they'll show and we'll get the win. Other Osprey teams were on the road this weekend. First, we'll take a look at volleyball, who faced NJIT and Lipscomb. The Ospreys won in a 3-0 sweep over NJIT Friday in Newark before falling to the conference-leading Bisons on Sunday afternoon in Nashville. They now sit fifth in the conference standings with two regular season matches remaining. Moving on to swimming, the Ospreys traveled to their first road contest of the season. They fell to UNC Asheville 152-110. to Wrapping up our recap of the weekend, we look at women's tennis who was in Disney for the USTA Collegiate Clay Court invite. Michelle Valdez led the way for the Ospreys, advancing to the main draw quarterfinals. Let's take a look at this week's action, starting with both cross-country teams. They'll be in action at the NCAA South Regionals in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Friday morning at 10 a.m. Men's tennis will wrap up their fall schedule at the Dick Vitale Intercollegiate Tournament in Sarasota, Florida, Friday through Sunday. Volleyball will be at home for their final two regular season matches. They face Kennesaw State Friday at 7 p.m. and USC Upstate Saturday at 3 p.m. on ESPN3. This weekend also marks the beginning of basketball season. The women's team starts their season at UMKC on Friday at 2 p.m., while the men's team will be at Illinois in Springfield on Friday at 8 p.m. Finally, championship soccer hits Jacksonville in the A-Sun final with the Ospreys hosting USC Upstate Saturday at 7 p.m. at Hodges Stadium. We will have all the details here. From all of us here at Osprey Sports Network, I'm Elizabeth Norton. And I'm Katherine Marsh. Have a great week and go, go Ospreys! Ospreys.